Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to move in day. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually like really nervous about this. I don't know why, but like every year moving into a new planet is like really scary. Like, I re this is a recap. This is a Erin Condren vertical neutral 18 month planner, but I ripped out the last 18 months and it is now just a 12 month planner on an 18 month coil. Um, I've actually like gone ahead and like done a mock plan with me using an old kit. I know it's such a beautiful kit, but it was the only one that I could think, feel about sacrificing to mock plan, to figure out like placement of things, where I was happy to white out, where I didn't want to white out, all that kind of stuff that I knew that I could f have faith in. <laughs> so I've gone ahead and picked out a Scribble Friends Co kit. This is an October mystery kit from last year so we'll flick through it really quickly and then we'll we'll go through the rest of it so it's winter here in Australia right now which is why I've saved it for so long so we've got um, your full boxes and all your other bits and pieces so yeah I'm nervous as anything to actually lay down everything because like the first spread in your new planner sort of like marks the start of the year and it's just kind of like oh. um and I haven't worked with a large kit in a while well I don't work with them very often I probably use like one every four to six weeks so a little daunting and then we've got some extras here some extra full boxes some bows um like I've been putting this off like I've genuinely been putting this off um now it's stuck to the page. See what I mean? Like I'm actually nervous. So I pulled in the pool blue, is it? Candy blue, sorry, with hollow bows from Simply Gilded. Pulled in some foils from my own shop. I've got the actual foil from the mystery kit and I've got the bows here as well. I just thought I'd leave everything with it and we'll see what happens. <sighs> okay. I have to actually just do this and just stop being a scaredy cat. Little scaredy cat, little scaredy pants. Okay. So I've gone ahead and whited out. I need to take Sorry, I needed to take that. So what I what I was saying is I've gone ahead and whited out the second dotted line up here. Um, because that doesn't fit with my plans. And I've tried to leave like the the gutter line. And I've just gone ahead and whited out the dates up the top and there was a like uh, whatever that shape is up there. So I've gone ahead and whited that out and I've also whited out the calendar down the bottom here, but that's all the white out I really needed. I thought that's pretty cool because that will save me some white out. And as it is, we have to buy that white out from America. So Australian problems. So what I'm going to do now is get me some washi tape and a ruler. I'm going to use the new ruler. Let's check it all out. I'm going to get my slice tool and check out how this works. I haven't done one with washi tape yet. I've just done it with washi, but I pretty much just lined it up with what was this here, which I see now I'm going to have to wipe that out anyway. So we're going to get the white out and have a bit of a play around. And I know a lot of people have like already moved into their planner and everything and all that, but I know I'm late to the party. What's new? So yeah, um, this morning I had the physio gym and they've actually that was them ringing me back now to say they wanted to move me into a different group because i've outgrown the other group shall we say oh, i need to white out that other line too okay learning curve here folks need to white out all the bottom lines somebody just needs to make like a white sticker for these bottom lines did anybody just hear that a white sticker for these bottom lines that'd be great Alright, I'm going to have to wipe those other ones out in a minute too, but we're just going to get that. And I need to wipe out the gutter lines, you nung. Okay. Gutter lines need to go too. <sighs> we're just going to leave that there because it's just going to make too much of a mess, but in the future I would definitely wipe out these gutter lines as well. So I'm just going to rip that off. People that like freak out about tearing your shoe, there's 10 metres on a roll. Calm down, peeps. Um, so yeah, moving into a different group to be more challenging. I'm going to miss the old people in my group. 
And by old, I mean they are literally like grandparents. They could be my grandparents, some of them. Oh dear. Um, but anyway, I'll get over it. Oh no, what are you doing? Oh dear. I'm gonna have to rewire out some of that calendar, but that's okay. We're all learning here. Maybe white out the calendar after you've done your washi. Just a word of advice. But it's so thin. It's so nice to actually plan in a thin thin planner again rather than like old chunky over there. It's beside me. So we need to white out the So we need to white out like all of that. For future, we need to white out the gutters as well the gutter lines I think they're called gutter lines that's what I'm calling them now anyway um, I believe that's what these spaces in between the boxes are referred to as gutters I think I've heard that term used before for these um, planners but I could be wrong okay now we're gonna go back in with the washi and I don't know if you can see it on camera very well, but in person you can actually see like where the line stops and starts. So it's not a big deal for lining it up. Oh man, how did I misjudge that again? So I need to go down lower with my gutters this time because in I just didn't go down low enough and you can still see it. That's kind of annoying, but oh well. We will get there. It is a learning curve. OCD people might actually rip their washi up and do it again, but I'm just too lazy for that. Um, so I'm also on a bit of a time crunch. I want to get a lot of other stuff done today. And to be honest with you, like it's already lunchtime. <laughs> so we've done that. Okay, okay. I'm going to actually get my bottom washi and do the cutting method that Jasenia started and I loved dearly. Just keep an eye on my heater. I'm always paranoid about like portable heaters. Like it's a good one, don't get me wrong, but I'm still just paranoid about them. Is this going to be see-through? It is. Okay, so I'm going to have to wipe this out. I'm going to do the whiting out off camera because the bottom washi is a little bit see-through. Um, and I'm going to come back because people get bored watching, watching white out happen. Okay, we're all whited out. I did have to start a new whiteout, and I just love that new whiteout feel. We're also going to have to buy some more whiteout soon because your girl's nearly out of whiteout. Yes, I buy the 10 packs. Yes, you can get them on Amazon. Yes, it takes its time getting to Australia. So there we go. Wash it down. Get the ruler. I'm not sure how I feel about this new ruler, but it's a ruler. It works. I wish... Erin Condren's company would stop being so rude to 90% of the population and just put centimeters on it and millimeters because come on people, get with the time. And I know I'm not the only one because we spoke about it on my Instagram. <laughs> Alrighty, done. Next side, oh that is not a good, we just won't look it up. So how are you feeling about your new planners? Have you moved in yet? Are you set up? Are you waiting for the next year? Are you a financial year? Are you a calendar year? I like the financial year changeover. There, that's where that is. See, I was saying before, I like paranoid about like portable heaters. Like it's a good one. And we even have it on like a timer overnight. In that bedroom like that's how good it is but I'm still paranoid about it when I like have it but not on a timer that's a little better um just because like so many problems start with portable heaters they just make me a little scared okay now how did I do this last time I'm pretty sure I just eyeballed the boxes that's not very clever I'm normally used to only working with the eight boxes, so the fact that there's like nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen boxes, potentially fourteen boxes here creeps me out a bit. Um, I'm just going to do my usual straight across the middle in the mocks, but I did. I'm pretty sure I eyeballed the middle of the box, which doesn't help. 
coffee on Monday because Monday is coffee Monday obviously and then the library is normally where I put the double box the double boxes normally go on the weekend I'm definitely gonna do that okay so to be honest with you the only thing is with this kit like the full box I don't know if you can see that at all I've, what I've noticed with Squirrel Prince Co boxes in particular is the you have to actually like line up the box just over either side of the kit. I mean the planner. And I sort of just literally eyeball like the middle of the... The middle of the box. Like that. It's not perfect, but when will my box is ever perfect? So that's literally how I do it in this new planner. And it worked for me last time in the mock spread. That's all spaced out pretty well for me. That's how I like it. So that works for me. So that's how I'm going to do it in this one. Um, what day is it today? Tuesday. It's actually really cold today. So I'm going to put like the, the little icicles today. And then I just sort of follow it along, eyeballing it the whole way pretty much. And then tomorrow I'm probably going to be packing up my checklist. We'll do that. And then... Oh, this is the cover I got, by the way, the Green Wedding Shoes collab, so that's hella cute. And then Thursday, my sister's here, so that's exciting. Um, we might use the blankie for Thursday. And then I just do the same thing over here. I just sort of see, like, what the gap's looking like. Just eyeball it again. I'm really not that worried. That's what undo was invented for. Friday, we're actually traveling all day. So I'm going to use like the book and the mug. I wish it was going to be that relaxing, but it won't be. And Saturday is the Sydney Planner Markets. How exciting. Oh, that's a little low. And then Sunday we're coming home. So that's our weekend pretty much. Did I just put that? Yeah, I did. Just put that on the wrong way. No? No, I didn't. I was looking at the bookshelf thinking, what? But then I saw the bench seat and I was like, oh, it's the right way. Oh my goodness. Talk about panic for a split second. That's what undo's for, right? Dick. Alright. So... Obviously that leaves this up here as the full box, which is totally fine. I'm just going to obviously white out. I don't know if I need to actually. How did I line it up last time? I did something really cool. Oh yeah, I lined it up with the bottom of the second line. Yeah, I am going to white it out because it's a little thin and then I'll show you what I did. I'll be right back because nobody needs to see the white out. That's boring. Okay, so that's gone. And then all I did last time was line up the full box with the second line down. And it's pretty much perfect. That way you still got your little bit of white space around either side of it and you're done. And then for the glitter headers, they literally just fit perfectly. You don't have to stress about anything. So I'll show you the first couple. Um, so I just line it up. like such I could probably go over a smidge and then the next one down like that and then the next one down sits just like that and there you have your glitter headers what circles what curves so I'm going to do one more example for you to see if I can fix that top row a little bit. But you really don't need to panic. 
about this whole curve thing going on because you can actually cover it. See? What curves? Anyway, so that's that. That's that. And then you've got this here. Perfect. You just missed that one. Perfect. No lines. Not an issue. So I'm going to do the rest of this off camera and I'll be back. Alright. Glitter headers are done. And I actually find it easier to put the glitter headers in this planner for some reason than that one. So just saying. Um, yeah. That's cute. I like that. I like that a lot. So. My fingers are very cold. Let's work on the sidebar now. So the sidebar I actually found quite easy to do. So, sidebar, sidebar. Okay, so do, 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 do. From memory, you could literally just go like this. You are going to have a line show through it, but that doesn't really bother me. If I actually move it over properly, you can literally just line everything up with the bottom lines of the um, sidebar. You might want to use tweezers if you're a bit anal, but otherwise you can just do it eyeballing. And then a piece of washi. And then the dinner's header, that's a little crooked. We're going to try and start the year with straight stickers at least. That's the goal anyway. So yes, off to Sydney in this spread. I'm very exciting. By the time you see this, I'll have been to Sydney and come back. So I think from memory I space this one a little differently. I put it like in between it. that and then we got a weekly box there it is that's right at the bottom of the no we decided not to do that move it over so it lines up properly sorry it's a bit washed out and then I worked out if you got a bigger piece of washi and put like a to-do header on or your next header on it it actually worked out with a full box really well so if you got like the largest piece of washi And then your header. And did this. But you can do it off however you normally do it. That's fine by me. And then you put your full box checklist down. If you want to do it this way. There's other ways to do it of course. And then spaced it a little more. It would just about pretty much cover the calendar whiteout anyway. And then of course if you wanted to you could bump it up a little bit more and put some white out at the bottom. But that for me works really well. That sidebar set up. So there is space if you want to do more and push it up together. But that, that works really well for me. So I'm happy with that. Um, I'm going to go in now and put like some foils and stuff down before I forget. While I've got them here. So I've got some full some bottom washi overlay foil. This is like my falling stars one. I actually had to go ahead and like actually cut and print, print cut foil myself some washi because I didn't have any. And I was like, shoot, I actually need washi for this like spread. I'm actually thinking about like doing it like there and trimming the excess. Yeah, that's cute. So it comes out of the bows. I'll 
skin there because that's not So it's just coming out like the bow tail, so that's really cute. Okay, I see what I've done. Oh, sorry guys. I bumped you. I think I'm just going to trim that because that's white stuff off. Where's my ruler? There she is. It's by excess white, I mean like excess clear, you know what it is. I hate you. I hate your stinking guts. Love alfalfa. Please tell me everybody knows the movie I'm referencing right now. you're doing this to me you couldn't just do it easy there we go cute I just had to put harder on it done my friend okay it at that for now let's get into some daily plans I'm gonna track my medications I need some tweezers no not those ones it helps if my rascal was actually like in the right spot not like halfway across the room it would help down the bottom of the tub. What am I gonna stab by? Nothing. Beautiful. These are like my new largest groups. Um, had a few people request them at one of the markets I did recently, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna bring them in. And then like I saw like everybody else had bought them in. I was like, really? Now I'm gonna look like I've copied every other sticker shop. But anyway. Um, okay. Radio. Um, num, num, num. what did I do yesterday? I did lots of things yesterday. Yesterday I had a doctor's appointment. This is where it's going to take a while, I'm sorry. It's going to be a long one just because I sort of explained the setup. So I hope I put down sticker straight. Yeah. A doctor's appointment. And then... What else did I do? Let's get an icon for that. Because I can see it in front of me. And then I... I did a lot of tape work. I'm going to build you. Had my scribble prints bill come out. But I think I'm just going to mark that with like... This little cutie little bow here. And then I did, I finished all my tape stuff. I've officially finished all my tape stuff. It's very exciting. I haven't got any actual stickers out either. It's a bit naughty. Did all my tape stuff. I think they've narrowed the boxes slightly, or is it just me? I don't have a ruler. Do I have a ruler in? I do have a ruler in. A ruler in centimeters, or it's actually millimeters.
Yeah, I think they've rounded them down to like smack on like 38 centimeters. 38 millimeters, I mean, or just under. Now oh, they're still technically like just on 38 millimeters, righto. Just on 38 millimeters. Sorry, I measured that off camera. I finished all my tape work. I'm actually gonna get like a laptop girl from School Prince Go go on like mental on her laptop because that's what I did. Got a happy mail yesterday too. I'm gonna mark that because that was exciting. I'm going to use the light blue little happy mail. I'm gonna get some icons out in a little while, I promise. I don't have one of those little like book things, so it makes life a little difficult. Um I had physio this morning. See, I'm I'm a little confused because there's so many boxes to choose from. I just I'm overwhelmed. Physio this morning. I'm filming now. I'm gonna mark like that with like a little thing maybe. What are people doing with this page, by the way? Let me know what your thoughts are for that page. I might put that the other way. Yeah, down. I'm filming now. And this afternoon I have a nail appointment, which is very astonishing. I finally get to redo my nails. I think I might get some pink. Because your girl likes pink. And is there a nail icon? No, I don't like that nail icon. We got a different one. I don't know what I'm gonna put down the bottom yet. I might put like I did some packing. I packed yesterday. So I might use like one of these um squared off boxes to put like Finished Sydney market, finished market prep, packed everything up. Um, I'll leave that blank for this afternoon because I don't know yet. Um, I have to work on a custom order today as well, so I might put that down in the box here. I might put it in a medical litter so it stands out. I don't often take custom orders, so please don't bombard me all of a sudden with custom requests. Um, so I have to work on a custom order. And then... Um, Mum's stopping by tomorrow morning, so that's exciting. I don't know what we're doing though, there's no plans. Um, I didn't even look at TV shows. I know I have two on Wednesday. So we're going to put those in. I'm a little scatterbrained today and I'm sorry. And we have two on Thursday. for September when all the shows start again. You know what I'll be doing in the morning of the wedding? Watching TV shows. <laughs> like, no, go away. I can't, I can't do anything. I haven't finished watching all my TV shows for the week. <laughs> That'll be me. We know that. All right. Friday, we have to get up at like three o'clock in the morning to drive to the airport. That is going to suck. <laughs> But it's all worth it because I get to see like all my pretty market peeps. So I'm going to put like a, an appointment label. And then I might actually get like a flat sticker out. I've got them somewhere. I actually found them the other day. And then Saturday is the Sydney Planner Markets. And this kit's like perfect because it matches the Sydney Planner Market stuff like perfect. 
like the background stuff and all of it it's just like perfect i'm like i couldn't have picked a better like kit for this week like the colors and everything i like the sydney planet market colors like to a t so oh, goodness me At Sydney Planet Market. I want to put my video in because it's going to go up anyway. I'm going to schedule it to go up even though I'm not home. Sorry, I, I hate it. I know I hate people hate when I jump around, but this is just how my brain works. We're also flying home on this Sunday, so I'll mark all that later. We've got to fly home. We've got to drive home because we leave hours from the airport. Um, I'm also going to plan on, I plan on working this afternoon as well, I plan on doing some work, like actual like paid work after I finish filming this, so I'm going to put some work down in here, um, actually I want to use a different colour, uh, no, we're going to use this one, going to do like a little bit of work, like for my boss. And then tomorrow I need to do some work as well. Do I have any appointments tomorrow? No, I don't. I'll do some paid work for my boss tomorrow. And then we'll try to do some on Thursday as well. I keep thinking today's Wednesday, but it's not. It's only Tuesday. Even my computer is telling me it's only Tuesday. Calm your farm. And Thursday we'll do some work. I'm not collecting. I'm not doing like a fruit and veg order this week because we're not going to be here for the weekend. So I'm trying to run out of groceries. So that we're not doing that now my little sister is here on thursday and i'm really excited because i haven't seen her in like a two years because she lives on the other side of the country um sorry i want to mark that where is that sheet there it is right in front of me the one with the squared off box in it the chantelle is home and she just got engaged recently and i'm really excited for her People would be like, why are you excited? She got engaged the same year you're getting married. And I'm like, but that doesn't bother me because she didn't get engaged like at my wedding. So that doesn't bother me. So that's exciting. So they're coming home um, for like her fiance's parents are having like a, a big party like over in Geelong. So they're coming home for that. But, um, so they're home for like a couple of days. Um, and they're also doing some wedding stuff for me while they're here. Um, I also have to do really boring things on Wednesday, like wash my hair. That means like nothing to you guys, but to me that's just like... Do, do, do. Okay. I'm going to use like a fork and spoon little thing and I'm going to put like a, a wash hair thing over it. Um... So instead of putting it on my sidebar, I'm actually going to put it on Wednesday so I remember to do it on Wednesday. <sighs> my head is like exploding with like all these things that I actually need to do and I'm just like, I just, I can't. I don't know when I'm going to get a plan next week. I might actually sit down and do it after this video as well and just like do two videos back to back. Oh, I have an appointment on Thursday morning. I'm actually going to have to mark that in before I forget. Yoi. Okay, let's get the purple asterisk. Um, I have a waxing appointment at 9am. Radio, and if missed that, oof, can't miss that. Um, uh, build you, build you, there's a build you Monday, so we're going to put that in too because. But I don't think I want to use the full build juice. Yeah, I'm going to use the build juice sticker. We haven't used them in a hot minute. Let's use them. Monday they're being anyway, so we can squeeze it in down the bottom here. Plenty of room. Um, sorry, I did that off camera. I'm the worst person now. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? The bins need to go out on... Wednesday. I'm gonna mark that in otherwise I forget and then I'll mark in like which bin it is. Thank you heater. I like it when you turn on. At some point today I need to eat. It's nearly one o'clock and I haven't eaten yet. Um, I had breakfast. It's all good. Um, I think for now that'll do. I'm gonna go get some stickies. Uh, other stickers and I'll come back. 
Okay, I think I've got enough stickers for some next week. It looks like a bit of a hot mess right now, but it, I don't have them all, but it'll it'll make sense. So I've sort of got them piled on like days. So I'm just sort of going to leave you there. So I'm going to put in my to-do list that I need to do laundry. Um, and I'm just going to put a laundry hamper here. And I will get a script sticker out for it. I just sort of went through one binder at a time. I've sort of piled them on the days that I want to use them. I know that sounds weird, but this is just how I, my brain works. So... Um, I'm going to use the little fox and cactus girl like stress heading because that was me trying to finish TAFE. I'm going to pop her there. They're done with. They can go to the side. Okay, Tuesday. I did get a physio sticker and I was working my butt off today. So we're going to put her there. And then I have a nail appointment this afternoon. Did I even put that in? Yeah, I did. Um, these are from Scribble Prince Co. These are like old from like a mystery kit. I think I'm going to put like a, a purple one in. Skin tone doesn't matter, peeps. Um, I want to design some customs today. So I'm just going to use a design little sticker girl from Made by Alyssa. Tomorrow is recycle week, so we're going to use a recycle bin sticker from Lime and Mortar just to remind me it's a recycle bin. I also have to wash my hair, so I'm going to put that down the bottom here from Fox and Cactus. This is where I get exciting. I need to sort all this out still. I haven't actually got all the stickers for Friday yet either. So we have an eyebrow waxing appointment that I'm going to put over the little asterisk. from King Prince like that then I picked out the Sanderson sisters trio from Fox and Cactus because the trio are reunited my sister is back in the state there are three of us and then I'm gonna put a rainbow um, and it's just gonna have yas written over the top of it like such now for the um rest of friday i'm gonna get an alarm clock and i'm gonna take like the gray one so i remember to set an alarm and then i'm gonna put like a road sticker i'm gonna take like the small gray one and i might even trim a little bit of it yeah i'm gonna trim it in half because i don't have enough room these are from Blackbird Print Co. These are like super old. I'm going to keep the other half though because I might use it like for later in the spread. And then I'm going to put that just down there like that. And then I'm going to go into like my functional binder and grab out a, a flight info sticker from Peaceful Mind Designs. I've had these for a long time by the way but I'm pretty sure Peaceful Mind Designs kind of keeps like a bit of everything on her website. So this is like um just her multicolor like flight info. I've got them in black and multicolor. I'm just going to go through until I find a color that I like the look of that might actually oh they've got hotel ones here too. So I've got a bit of both. So they're hotels. I've got flights so I might go with like this light blue I think. Oh, well, there's light blue in that box already. What else have we got? We got like the purple. That's a bit dark. We might have to go with the purple because that's all we've got. And then I'm just gonna like layer it over the top. And this is these are about half box size. So yeah, they're perfect half boxes, just like that. And then. I'm going to use a little flight um, sticker from Fox and Cactus. Do I want to be sleeping? What do I want to be reading? Probably going to be sleeping because we're getting up early. <laughs> well, let's be real. We're just going to decorate with that like that because that's pretty much going to be like that. And then I'll leave the bottom blank because I don't know what we're doing in the afternoon. 
and that's as much as I pulled out so um, I forgot to pull out what was I putting in that box down here oh that I finished all my Sydney market prep so I'm going to use one of these rainbows because they're here I'm going to use like um I'm awesome AF or I did a thing I'm awesome AF because it's here in me as well beautiful oh I didn't put it over the glitter header and I didn't put the glitter header down yet is it going to come up without being a tool come on You can do it without lifting the box would be great yes it did okay I'm gonna put it a little lower now I'm awesome AF okay that's done okay. now I haven't marked anything in for like the Sydney planner market or hotel information I don't need that much information it's already like in our phones and all that so um, I'm making a hot mess but on the way home I want to mark like that we're flying again so I think I'm going to use like the darker blue this time I'm gonna put it down the mm. I didn't plan that very well I wonder if I like undo this like plan with me and I do it like lift your turn thank you I'm just gonna put down the bottom of the box down here That still gives me room to put something up there about like whatever I feel like. So yeah, we're not in Sydney for very long. Um, that still gives us like Terry has like Mondays off, so that still gives us a little bit of time to do anything we need to at home and all that jazz. So now I'm gonna go into my foil binder and get out the remaining foil that I didn't get. Yes, I have binders for everything. We need. We'll get a foil bow, we'll get find a, a, a silver weekend banner if I can, maybe, there we go, do I want bows or swiggles, don't know, what have we got else, what else have we got, that was good English girl, good English. I have lots of gold because I like gold, so I had to actually make silver, as you probably heard before. Um, not, nothing in that little pocket I want to use. I have like a little pouch inside my folder to keep like all the little freebies and stuff in. Um, ooh, things are about to fall again. Okay. I want my laundry stickers, that's for sure. I don't want them in silver, not gold. Um, I'm going to do the rest of this off camera and I'll be back. Alrighty, so I got a few more like foil things out as well. I didn't have many out to begin with, so I thought I'd grab a few more while I was there. Oy, oy, oy. I only really had like this pile because I, um, I made it, basically. <laughs> That's really sad, I know. So I just grabbed a few bits and pieces, a few different options, see what we've got, see what we're working with. So I've got two different options for a weekend banner. I've got the bow and I've got the swiggle. I know the bow is too long and it needs a trim, so we may as well just go ahead and start using them to get rid of them. These were like the ones I made for myself and I was like, oh, you, you know, like the tail's too long. You were meant to resize it before you printed it and I never did, so I didn't sell them. I just kept them for myself. I could have put them in the oops thing, but I was like, well, you need some weekend banners for yourself. So that was how that came around. And that's where it fell, so that's where it stayed. Right, they're done. There's just that mess, like, over there. 
We're gonna get the laundry script happening. Yo yo. Just use the first one off the rank that didn't foil very well. Very well. That's old. That's probably why. Um, we need to get a nail appointment sticker from Arctic Paper Studio. It's a little long. Let's trim some tails. Still haven't got out like market stickers or anything yet. YOLO. Um, full box overlays. I have no idea what I want to wear. I have too many choices now. I definitely want a bow on that girl. We definitely want some, some like, what do we want on the, where's the stuff that came with the kit? Hmm. Maybe. Oh no, I've lost everything again. I don't think you understand how serious this mess is. So we definitely want like a bow on this girl with a bow mark. That is a given. I think we're gonna go full out foil this week for the start of the new planner. I'm looking for like the hollow ones that came with the planner because I just want to put like a touch of hollow. Oh no. Are they on the floor? I can't see them. Oh no, that means they're up here somewhere. Oh that made me dizzy. Oh there they are. Do I want to put like a, a hint of like... See they're not the same size and that's what really bugs me about like the stickers. Like they don't actually... They weren't made to be the same size. That irritates me. I don't want to put the stars around it, maybe. I'll see, I don't want to highlight that. Oh, it's so hard. Definitely need something up here, though. Maybe like a. Hmm. Sorry, I know people hate them. Maybe like a bow in the corner and then a full box over the top of it. Maybe. Maybe. That might work. A giant ass bow. Like right there. And then like a full box over the top of it. Oh my god, another sheet that's like started. Yeah, I'll do. Let's use these. And then I'm just gonna like cut around the. Yeah, I'm just gonna trim the edges. Do something different because I can. That's the ruler. <laughs> My bad. The only problem I find with the Erin Condor rulers is you wind up slicing them half the time more than you do anything else. Oh, they ripped the page. No good. 
let's turn you back this way. Get off. My nails to pick that up. No, I'm gonna need tweezers. Alrighty, that's really cute. I like that. That's really cute. Okay. I'm gonna put one of these over it to make it a glimmer like, like the um the snowflake itself like glimmer I think that's what it needs and then maybe just like a frame around the hot chockey because hot chockeys are always delicious And then do we just want like another single frame around the the book and the bow? I think we do. But what I think I'm gonna do is put another bow on top of it first. And then I'll trim that as well. Get off whatever you are, thank you. And then I'm just going to trim that underneath from the next to the coil. That is hella cute. Oh no. It like sliced but it didn't. There we go. It's like right on the edge but it'll just give it like that accent that it needs I think to catch the light yeah that's cute all right and for the um the blanky and all that I think I'm gonna get like a where did it go I think the stars you know crazy cabin looking up at the stars that kind of thing yeah Yep, that's cute. Alright, I don't put them over there, so we're good. Okay, I think I'm done with that bit. <laughs> I think. Okay. I think that's just about all my weekly plans, except for like, I haven't found a sticker for the Sydney Planner Markets, and I haven't put a sticker... No, I have put a sticker in. Okay, I think that was it. I think I'm only missing a sticker for the Sydney Planner Markets, so... Yeah, um, I'm gonna put in the glitter headers overlays off camera and if I think of anything else I will let you know when I come back. Alrighty I have a feeling my camera may have slipped a bit. <laughs> we'll see me back in. Um, my glitter had us down. They're all the little silver dots. I've got this Luscious Labels um, Planner Day sticker here and it is going to go on my Sydney box right there. So I think that's it for now. I've made a heck of a mess. <laughs> Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with the deco situation. What are we looking at for deco, peeps? Oh, yeah, we've got a bit. I might just uh, scatter some of that around. Might just do some of the little snowflakies. See how that comes out. Um, yes, so I'm just loving the fact that there's no like stuff you have to cover up like on the outsides or anything like that. It's just, it's nice. It's pretty simple. So yeah, I'm just going to put a little bit of deco up the top because that's pretty much all there is. So yeah, deco is done.
no date covers, no nothing. Just keeping it simple, keeping it real. All right, I'm gonna fill it in off camera and as always you can see my finished spreads on my Instagram page. And um, yeah, don't forget to um, check out, I don't know, just uh, everything. Suss out the planner community, see what's happening. There's always something fun happening. Bye guys. <laughs>